everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here to share with you my TBR for the week of graphic novels. I've honestly not had a great reading year or even like a TBR creating year. I've been mood reading for the most part, so I'm not exactly sure how this will go. I've read a lot less graphic novels this year than I have in years prior, but maybe this week will get me back into the swing of things when it comes to graphic novels. If you don't know, this is a very casual readathon that's hosted by Karen from the audiobook Aficionado. I'll leave all the information down below if you're interested in participating. So I'll first run through my TBR and then I'll talk a little bit about how all of the books might fit into the challenges that are set for this readathon. One that I'm truly, truly excited for is Run, book one, and this is the new series, which I'm not really quite sure how it's going to be completed. Um, because it was um, by John Lewis who passed away last year um, and it's also by Andrew Aiden and Nate Powell and now they have a person named Elle Fury on it. So this is the same team that put together the March series which I love. is one of my favorite graphic novel series ever and I think it's going to look at how you switch the movement of being about let's march for civil rights to being about let's run and be a part of government decisions. This one here called The Black Panther Party and this is a graphic novel history and it's by David F. Walker and Marcus Kwame Anderson and I really like how it looks inside. I also want to read The Parakeet, which I've kind of seen mixed things about, honestly. It's by Espe. It's supposed to be about a child uh, experience with a mother who is going through some issues. Um, says Mama's tried everything. Yeah, it's supposed to be a heart-wrenching one. And it kind of gives me David Small vibes, so I hope that I enjoy it as much as I love David Small's work. I also have My Brother's Husband here. I checked this out a really long time ago from the library and I never got to it. So I have it here again and maybe this will be a good time to read it. I'm sure pretty much everybody knows what this is about, but it's basically about a brother who does not know how to accept or take in the fact that he has a brother who has a husband. I've had Paying the Land by Joe Sacco out from the library for a while it's still here. It's kind of like a daunting graphic novel, but I don't know. I have it here. We'll see what happens. Um, I also have Blankets, which you've probably seen before. I feel like this is one of the most known graphic novels, in my opinion. You probably can guess what I picked this up for to meet one of the challenges. I've never read it, and... It's been one that's been on my list to read for a very, very long time, like many years. It's a very big graphic novel, and it looks like it's been pretty beat up. <laughs> it's gone through some stuff. I have In the Shadow of the Fallen Towers, the seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years after the 9-11 attacks. This is another one by Don Brown. I believe this is a brand new one. Yes, this one just came out this year, 2021. Um, I really honestly went through a very dark rabbit hole of researching and watching documentaries about 9-11 a couple weeks ago when uh, the 20th anniversary came around and I really love the National Geographic 9-11 um, One Day in America series that came out. It's six episodes. It's very good if you haven't watched it. It's just really really hard to watch and I honestly watched it in like a day and a half which was probably not healthy um but yeah i would love to read this one because i love don brown and i think he always does great non-fiction graphic non-fiction works um this is what his art looks like and then i also have a more uplifting one that's apple of my pie by mika song this is another book in um she's made one called donut donut feed the squirrels and so this is another one following the same characters and it's a kids graphic novel and I really love the humor in these books. And then last but not least I have The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox Oster Tag which I've checked out a couple times now and I always have to give it back um, because it's on hold for other people but I love Molly Knox Oster Tag's art style and I'm really excited about this one. Let's talk about the challenges. So this one definitely is going to satisfy the read a book about an LGBTQIA plus character. A lot of Molly Knox Oster Tag's characters fit those themes and she always talks about topics about gender and sexuality in a really interesting way, so I'm excited. And then for graphic memoir, these two books would fit into the graphic memoir category of it. Then author of the text is a person of color. I have three, I suppose. I have I have Run, I have My Brother's Husband, and I also have um, The Black Panther Party. I looked up this author, and both the author and illustrator, I believe, are people of color. That's the back. 
read books from at least two different age ranges and I have all three actually. I have adult graphic novels, young adult graphic novel, and kids graphic novels. Read a book from a main character that is an animal. I only have the one and that's this one, Apple of My Pie. A book that embodies a season. I think both of these would fit into this. So this one is definitely more um, summery and this one is definitely more wintry. Monochrome color palette and definitely for that one it would be the parakeet one. So if you look inside, it does go through monochrome and then it switches up and does another monochrome. So definitely this one. And then translated. For that one I have two, I believe. This one is translated from the French and then this one is translated from the Japanese. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this one is translated from the Japanese. So I have two right here. Hi, it's morning Vanessa editing this video and being really excited because after I filmed this, I actually got two more books that I had originally wanted to put on this TBR that I did not get in time. One of my coworkers bought the new Witches of Brooklyn book, so this is book number two. What the hex? And I'm really excited to add this to my TBR, so this is officially on there. And then I also asked for a book um, from outside my library district, and I didn't know if it was going to arrive in time. Um, sometimes it'll take a little longer, but here it is. It is Threads from The Refugee Crisis by Kate Evans. So this is another option too for me for this week. And I just wanted to share those two that have come in after I filmed this. So that is it for my TBR. If you're participating, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.